I'm Charvette Mitchell with Mitchell Productions Web Design and Social Media Coaching, where we help you build something amazing. All right, so this video is about mistakes I see ministries making when it comes to promoting online. Mistakes that I see ministries making when it comes to promoting online. Number one, oftentimes when promoting online, ministries don't think about their members really as their marketing team. They are your marketers. They are your supporters. So equip them with flyers, online flyers. Equip them with a great website that they can share service times and upcoming events. You want to equip your members so that they can turn around and advertise and market and promote your ministry. Yes. And all advertising and marketing is, is sharing good information, sharing information that will draw people to your ministry. So number one, that's the first mistake I see. Number two, the second mistake I see is that ministries do not use some of the great content they already have. You know what? For years, churches have been recording their services by audio. For years, churches have been recording services by video and what happens is that information doesn't get transferred online. Listen, there's some ministries that's got enough content to do a banging uh, podcast and web uh, episode and web segments by just taking some of the sermons, taking snippets of the sermons, taking snippets of the audio that you have and putting it online, putting it in a podcast or putting it on YouTube so that then you can share that information on your website. Also, your members can share it through social media media, send links to friends and email, all of this great content that your ministry already has. I think it's a little bit of a miss if you don't use it in the sense of how you can put it and bring it online. Again, if your church is recording audio and has been recording audio, consider doing a little bit of a podcast and just sharing some of that audio. It doesn't have to be the whole thing, just a snippet will do. Third thing is a mistake that I see ministries making is that they don't have a website. So I understand that a lot of churches may be very historical and maybe have a, a older population. And so they might not see the value in having a website, but quite honestly and quite frankly, you have to have a website. This is a key factor in how people are locating churches to attend nowadays. You have people that move in from out of town and they're looking on the web for a church. You have people that are recommending churches to people. And oftentimes they'll go to the web and try to find out a little bit about you before they grace your doors. The web and having a website is a passive way for someone, a potential member, to get a little use, for, use to you and to get a little feel for your service and for you. So eradicate that, just get a website. All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you can find out more about me at CharvetteMitchell.com. Again, that's CharvetteMitchell.com.